Yes. Hello, my name is Omotola the Great. I prepare, propel, position, empower individuals and organizations to their highest potential through the work I do in nonprofit development and management, youth development, and personal growth development. Welcome to the three minutes masterclass. Last week, we covered about creating your vision board, and I did a demonstration of how you can create your own vision board. And so today, we are going to plan for it. Remember, in the first episode, um, the part one of the vision but i talked about dreaming about it which we've done this is the dream and we visualize this right and now we're going to do the planning and so today is all about planning so how do you plan for your vision but how do you ensure that what you have here in picture form becomes reality for you what you have here, this future board of the things you want to make happen, that you want to bring to life, you want to bring to pass, whether personally, professionally, or in your ministry or in your organization. How do you bring it to life? How do you make sure that you can plan and work towards it? Because a lot of people stop at just creating a vision board. But just creating it is not enough. It's the same thing like writing down your goals and forgetting about it and not remembering about it and losing the paper. So it's not enough for you to create this vision board and hide it. The next part in planning to actually make sure it comes alive is to set it where you can see it daily. I highly recommend that you spend at least five minutes every day looking at your vision board. And I have a phrase that I learned from Bob Proctor, which I'm going to teach you. And it goes like, and you say it daily to yourself and when you look at your vision board smiling to say i am so happy and thankful and grateful now that my dream of writing a book is coming to pass i am so happy and grateful and thankful now that i am in my ideal weight and i maintain it with ease i am so happy thankful and grateful now that i am financially independent i am so happy grateful and thankful now that my charity is growing we have all the funding we need to succeed and to have good success okay so that's step one in planning for your dream so every single day you have 24 hours in a day i want you to find five minutes on your calendar to pay attention to your vision board and to speak what you expect and thank god for what you want to make happen so that's the step one of planning the step two in planning is to actually create a schedule for yourself so i got this from lutic and so this has like monday tuesday is a weekly planning thing you don't necessarily have to have this you can create your own but the point is to write down specific time whether of the week or of the day each day or three times a week they are going to work on these visions that you have this dream but this future board of what you want to make happen for yourself personally professionally or otherwise so i want you to create the time so what time of the day are you going to work on your dream so for instance with my own goal of writing a book so one of my plan is to write at least three hours every week so that means like monday wednesday friday for at least one hour i've blocked it up my calendar that i must write so as you think you think about each of your goals and the dreams that you want to make happen you need to make time for it